Okay, today, boys and girls, we're looking at module four, lesson 15, which is reading expressions in which letters stand for numbers, which, quite honestly, if you ask me, I think that's a lousy title. What we're going to do today is take expressions and write equivalent expressions by changing the symbols into words. Okay, so for example, if we had that, we could say two plus three. So that's what we're going to do today, which is actually an extension from yesterday's lesson and last night's homework. We're in the top left-hand corner of the equivalent expression boxes. You wrote the expression using words instead of letters and symbols. Now, yesterday there was one word that kept trip, well, that a couple people tripped on. And the word was and. We might be familiar with saying, okay, I have two and three, and that would be five. But that's not what we're going to look at today. That word and is telling us that we're going to have two, sometimes it's three or four, but let's just think about two items in our expression. Because if we have 2 times 3, I'm multiplying 2 and 3. I have a 2 and I have a 3. If I'm doing 6 divided by 2, that's the quotient of 6 and 2. So the word and is telling me, okay, here's the other number or other variable that you need. So here's a factor and a factor, or here's a dividend and your divisor, or here's your add-in and an add-in. So when you see the word and, don't assume it's addition. And is telling you, okay, here's the other piece of information you need. Okay, let's continue. So let's create a nice resource. Here's a graphic organizer in your notes on page 66. Some vocabulary words that when you see these words indicate, instead of relying on and, or instead of writing a symbol, we can use words. So instead of using the symbol for addition, what are some words that remind you to add? Uh, some. Some. What else? Yep. What else? Um, more than. More, more than. All together, in all, to increase by two plus three. All right, subtraction. The difference or dividend. No, no, that's not for this operation. Take a look at the addition column and see if you can twist them a little bit or edit them a little bit to fit subtraction. Oh, yep. Minus. Decreased by less than. He took it. Subtract. Minus. How many more than? Left. Fewer than. What about multiplication? What would indicate? Oh, product. I know I have to multiply. What other words might indicate you have to multiply? Two blank three. Two times three. What else? Two and three, I want you to multiply them together. What was our favorite word that told us? My favorite two, my tiny little two letter word. We used it over and over and over. Everybody? Oh. Oh, absolutely. If I want two groups, I'm going to, we did this yesterday, if I want two groups, I'm going to double it. If I want three groups, I'm going to triple it. Okay. For every um, division. Quotient. What else? Divide. Divide. Some for you, some for you. I'm going to or split. Exactly. Per, I have 24 cookies. I have 
three cookies per student. How many students will get cookies? None, because I'll eat them all. all. Exponents. What when there's a little in the little? What's another word that's an exponent? Yeah, but that doesn't help me get my answer. Squared, Squared or cubed. cubed. Okay, take a minute and copy these into your notes. Okay, let's take a look at these expressions. These expressions are written with variables and symbols. It's your job to write these expressions using words. So that's why we have that table. So I'm not even going to read A because I'm going to end up giving you the answer. How would you read that one? Example A. Uh, A minus B. Yeah, that's it. A minus B. What else? What else could we say? A fewer than B. Well, let's think about what are we starting with. What's our quantity? B fewer than A. Right, so we have B fewer than A. You have to be careful with subtraction. And even addition a little bit. Because there could be a right or answer for addition. But for subtraction, we're starting with A. A is my quantity, so it's B fewer than A. Nice. And another one? Right, there's that word and. The difference between this and that. So the difference between A and B. Or B subtracted from A. Or like Michael said, B less than A. Okay, so write those down. X, Y. What's the magic operation that doesn't even need a symbol? Multiplication. So how can I read X, Y? Yeah, X multiplied by Y. Well, you're on the right track. If we saw 2 times 5, we knew, right, so we could say that we have X groups of Y. There's your word of. Exactly. Which I already had written in there. X groups of Y. X times Y, X multiplied by Y, the product of X and Y. Have all those written down. God bless you. Now C is a two-parter. We have to choose our words carefully so we don't muck up the order of operation. We want to make sure that we know whether to multiply or add first. So how can I read 4x plus p? How can I write that? Take a chance. Yeah, 4 times f plus p. Because PEMDAS would tell me to multiply first anyway. Uh, the product of 4 and f plus p. Right, the product of 4 and f. Then we add p to it. 4 times f plus p, the sum of 4 multiplied by f and p. So the sum of this and that. All right, what about the next one? Nice. Instead of saying to the third power, what else could she have said? Yeah, absolutely. So D minus B cubed, the difference of D and the quantity B to the third power, or D minus B to the third power, lots of choices there. Let's try the next one. We have to be very careful with E. We have to make sure we put in a word telling us we need the parentheses, just like we discussed when we went over the homework. So I have to be careful because if I say 5 times u minus 10 plus h, that's telling me to multiply first. Okay? I have to be careful on how I'm going to write that one. How do you think we should write it? 
and 10 times 5 plus h. Okay. So, or add h to the product of 5 and the difference of u and 10. 5 times the quantity of u minus 10. So the quantity is telling me that that's where I need to put my parentheses. Write this down, please. Now, originally this said added to h, and I didn't like that. It said added to h because that's indicating to me that I'm starting with h. Now, even though it's commutative and it doesn't matter, I'm adding h to that, technically. So I changed it to plus h to indicate that I was starting with 5 times the quantity of u minus 10. And then I'm plusing h. Okay, I just like think that's the right of our answer. Let's take a look at the next one. Oh, and the answer's already there. The quotient of 3 and, and what? And the sum of d and f or 3 divided by the quantity d plus f. Obviously, you're not going to write the parentheses when you're writing it out, but I'm just showing you when you see the word quantity or product that's telling you to do that operation first. Now, it can't be 3 divided by d plus f because that would be 3 divided by d plus f. So that would tell me to do the division first. We're not packing up. I still need to explain your homework. So stop packing up, please, and copy your notes. You need this in your notes. So you can't have it this way because otherwise you'd be dividing first. We have to make sure that we explain we need the parent. Okay, let's continue. So let's circle all the vocabulary words that could be used to describe the given expression. So 6h means multiplication, 6 times h, and then minus 10 is subtraction. In order of operations, we would do the multiplication first and the subtraction second. 5d means 5 times d, so we would get a product for the multiplication, and then we would divide by 6 to get the quotient. In 5d divided by 6, we would multiply first, and then we would get our quotient second. Five uh, times the sum of d plus 2 minus 8. Uh, we have there, we have multiplication, we have addition, and we have subtraction. PEMDAS would tell us we have to do what's in the parentheses first, so we would be adding first, we would be multiplying second, and then we would be subtracting after we found the product of the sum of 2 plus d. A, B, C, if we expanded that out, that means A times B times C, which is times, which is multiplication. So tonight for your homework, make sure for number one, you list five vocabulary words for all of the given examples, use your notes as a resource, and then for number two, use those notes to help you write expressions for each of those.